Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I want to thank Randall for asking a really good question and I've got a really good answer for you. So question was car seats. How many positions do you have to buckle in the car seats? And I'm going to go above and beyond because you guys know as well as I do, that's kind of what I do on this channel, right? So um, I wanted to show you both the current fourth generation, um, which is 2021 and newer uh, for the Sienna. And then I'm going to show you previous generation, uh, which this is a 17, but the previous generation was 14 and newer with a couple of little uh, refreshes in between uh, then and, and uh, the 2020. So 14 through 20 is pretty much what this one would look like. Um, and just going to show you both of them. I'm going to start here with the 2022, which is, like I said, 21 and newer will be the same way. So how do you tell where your car seat latch positions are. Very easy to figure it out. So anytime you see this icon right here, you have a car seat latch position that is there. So you'll see you have three latch positions and where they're at on the 2021 and newer Toyota Sienna. All right, so I'm gonna pop into here and this is where you guys are gonna go ahead and hit that thumbs up because I'm about to crawl in this beast. All right, and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the fun stuff here right so um this is uh where you're gonna find all of your your seat positions here right so if you look you're gonna see right here there's actually you can kind of see my fingers in there there's one seat position here there's a second one that's right here there's a third one that is right here and then sorry i'm jostling around a little bit there's a fourth one you can kind of my finger's grabbing that. And then there's a fifth one that is right on the edge over here. So you got one, two, three, four is right here, and five is over there. So you have five positions for the seats in the back. So however you want to configure it, you've got three on the back of there, and then you've got five tie downs basically that are in there by the way you can also remove this seat belt so that it's not in the way right there so um i have a video on that in case you're wondering so then you'll see up here these are very easy to get to two latches right to put a car seat here and i'll back up here and you'll see there's two more over here right so you've got four up front for two car seats obviously and then however you're going to configure the back seats so that's how you can do your tie downs in your current fourth generation toyota sienna what about the old one i'm gonna show you right here's your bonus right so and keep in mind i didn't know which one randall was asking for anyway so he just asked the question but uh, i believe he was talking about the new one but the old one is actually different all right so um what i want to show you here is if if you look here if you start to look where they are in the new one you're going to notice there's there's nothing there right so where's the latch it's down here guys you gotta get all the way down you can see your same icon and your latch is down here so you need a very long strap on your car seat to be able to hit that so if you're buying a car seat for one you want to make sure that you see how long that that uh, strap is which most of them i think will work but you definitely want to look at that but you're going to notice something else one two there's nothing there so notice that you don't have the third latch on here, all right? And this I'm gonna note too is an eight passenger and there's a reason for that that I wanna note that. So um, keep in mind, and, and the easiest way I'm gonna put this is that whether you have an eight passenger or seven passenger, the answers will be the same on these, just so you know. And now you can see this one's cloth. It'll give you a little bit better of a look to it, right? So you can see it a little bit better than that, uh, the black one I was showing you, but um, so needless to say you're going to notice something else there's no tie down on this side over here there's no tie down here's your next one you can kind of see the black here so there's one here there's one there there's one right here and there's one right here so you've got a total of four in here right so you've lost one in the older generation or gained one in the newer generation that's on this side all right so on your driver's side you have one less all right now if you look at these you're going to notice man you got to go pretty far in before you can kind of get to one of those so you can see how far in these are but uh that's something that they addressed but you'll notice on both sides 
right that you have the uh, uh, tie downs on both sides you'll also notice when you have the eight passenger you have this piece down here which is where the it straps in for the uh, jump seat I'm going to show you the jump seat in a second because I think that's going to be important but you also have so you got these two over here there's one here and one here right now if I kind of lift this up might show you a little better but maybe it won't it doesn't, doesn't quite show you any better but you're also going to see on the back of your seat you have your latch position here and the other seat does the same thing right and I'm going to note too that on the previous generation or sorry on the uh current generation it looks the same way so if you pull this up you can kind of see pretty easily but it's right back here so you've got that same latch that's on the back of the current generation for that uh, that latch system right so the two in the bottom of the seat and then the one in the back so that's on the current generation right so now let's go to the jump seat on the old one and realize that the new one isn't going to be much different when you have the jump seat but you're going to notice there's absolutely no tie downs on the jump seat at all there's no room for them. jump seat small um, it's not meant to do a whole lot other than kind of give you that extra room for that extra passenger uh, should you need that extra person to be able to go down but it is not meant to uh, to put a car seat on so always make sure that you uh, sent your kid down right follow the directions of the car seat um, and then here's something else that uh, some people don't remember or don't know or have never been told but uh, usually if you go to a fire department especially a new parent before you ever have the baby they'll help you put your car seat in your car. So uh, that's something that uh, I've always advocated to, to go to the local fire department and just, just walk in and ask the guys that they'll help you to properly install your car seat. So uh, if you wanna make sure you don't do it wrong, and most of us that at some point were new parents, then you, you're just, man, is this right? Is this supposed to wobble like this? Is this, all those questions that you have, man, take it to the fire station, before the baby ever arrives and then once you put the baby in the car seat you're going to be confident that the baby's in right the baby's safe do it that way but uh toyota is obviously going to keep you as safe as you can but you can see a little difference between the two generations in how many car seats you can put on there and how they hook up but i uh, want to thank randall again for the question and uh, appreciate you guys reaching out and uh hey let's do that definitely like subscribe steve welch beam toyota downtown nashville you guys have a great day talk to you soon bye